Hey folks, what's going on? Who guess what? We have slightly better audio this week and probably a lot better video this week. Welcome. This is Point and Shoot, our little weekly hangout on air with the smartphone photographers community. My name is Ant Pruitt. And this is the weekly hangout on there to get together and talk about different tips and tricks to make you a better smartphone photographer. Yes, we're your smartphone, not your fancy smancy camera. I'm talking about the camera you carry around in your pocket all day long or in your purse or what have you. Your smartphone. They got good cameras on them. We show you how to get the best out of these things. And also, we do a little weekly challenge with the community members, you know, and, you know, try to have a little friendly competition, if you will, and see who can pull off the challenge. Um, friendly? Have shot. you seen one of these hangouts? <laughs> I did say air quotes friendly, Dan. Come on. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm joined tonight give by... The, give the, uh, the person a break. No, not going to do it. We, I said give you tonight. a break. <laughs> Joining joining me tonight, we got our couple of moderators in here. We'll start over on the West Coast this time, do a little different. And my man sitting, looks like in his uh, luxury vehicle, Mr. Oh, Mike. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Sweeney out in California. How you doing, man? Doing well. 80 degrees and sunny here at soccer practice. Inside of a car. Please Inside tell of me you car. got some air on or a window down or something, bro. Hey, it's 80, man. I got the windows down, the sunroof's open. Okay, yeah. And this would be a 1986 yeah, Ford Tempo. Oh, and he's got the Hawaiian shirt. That, <laughs> some things never change, folks. So, all right. Good to see you, man. Next up, going to head down to Tejas. Mr. Michael King. It's nice and, well, it's not sunny, but the moon's out. 82 degrees, low tonight is supposed to be in the upper 60s, and then tomorrow it's going to be just in the just barely 80. So we're doing we're living right. All right. Good Compared to, see to you, everybody man. on the West Coast that are looking at the East Coast, excuse me, East Coast, that's walk looking at uh, watching walking. Yeah, we got some issues over here, but we'll be all right. We'll be fine. Good to see you, bro. Appreciate oh, okay. you joining in. By and the way, and, boy. And, if Joaquin's like its name, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Because we uh, there was a uh, picture for the Astros named Joaquin Andujar, who was a hothead. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, you pulled out a Houston Astros reference on me. Lord. No, no good can come from the rest of this hangout. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Lastly, my man, up in the corner, northeast corner, Maine, Mister. Joey Kelly. And as you can see, I'm proud to be an American based upon my backdrop. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I like to think of myself of being from America. Anyway, uh, no, uh, <laughs> state of Maine, up, uh, actually, and speaking of the weather, uh, since the last time we had one of these hangouts, or last time I was on one, um, it has gone from pleasant motorcycle weather to unpleasant motorcycle weather. Um, I can't say is what the high was today, but the majority of the day it was in the low 50s. Wow. So, yeah, um, and it has. we've had a frost already. It's winter uh, time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's flipped. So we're we're at the point where I'm going. Oh crap! I really don't want to get onto this thing. Mm -hmm. It is it is winter time in Maine. Dang, it's heading man. that way. All right, good to see you, and I appreciate you joining us this week. Uh, you didn't join us last week for that fiasco of a hangout. Oh, you, you missed a good one. one. <laughs> well, well, this is the one yeah, you should have been on. I had a three day event on Friday. Yeah. And I actually went and tried to sleep in the car to be there for Friday morning, Thursday night. Okay. And I actually strategically planned where I was going to try to camp out so that yeah. I would be near Wi-Fi. Right. And I actually had the Wi-Fi. The problem was I couldn't find my laptop in the car. So um, mm. I'll, I'll spare you the rest of the, of the details. Long story made very short. Uh, I couldn't get to sleep in the car, tried the tent, the tent didn't work, went back to the car, Jeez. that didn't work either, and for, uh, yeah, it, it was a very rough night, and I wound up commuting back and forth the, the remaining two nights of the event. So, Good grief, oops. man. 
So if I'd known how bad it was going to be, I would have just stayed to home, slept here, and done the hangout. We got to get you better prep for for road trips, my man. Yeah, well, I had a generator. Oh, okay. So had you a 2200 watt generator, a 15.6 inch laptop, a 10 inch, 11.6 uh, inch Chromebook, my SLR, my lighting rig. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, my yeah. tripod. Um, <laughs> there was a valiant failed effort. <laughs> and two railroad lanterns that run on, uh, and two railroad lanterns that run on lamp oil, so that I can provide provide pro appropriate props for the night oh, photo. Wow. Yeah, lamp oil even. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you, you had everything that you needed. Whale oil. Yeah, which was a mattress. I didn't have a freaking mattress. That was the only thing I didn't have, because uh, my wow. ex-wife took the air mattress when she left. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, thank, yes, thank you. Yes, crickets. King. Yes, thank you. Mr. No. King, you the man. <laughs> Yeah. Good to see you anyway, though, Joey. But yeah, um, last week, folks, I, I I apologized in the beginning of that that hangout. I apologized in the posting, which was late, and I'm going to apologize again. Um, <laughs> but I didn't want to miss last week because the previous week we'd miss with me traveling, um, and and I just didn't want to miss two weeks in a row. But at the same time. I didn't want to miss that game of Go Fish last week, too, you know, because I, I don't know if you guys know it, but when I go and play Go Fish, those guys basically pay my cell phone bill or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so. Yep. I'm going fishing, dear. I'm going to let I'm gonna <laughs> let them pay my bill, you know. <laughs> Seems like I get a bill paid every time I go over there, so we're, we're going to keep doing that as long as they keep having me over there, you know, and they don't try to fire me, but... <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this week's challenge, uh, I had to come up with it because my man, um, Mr. Chasak, was unavailable or he didn't respond to my uh, reaching out to him to come up with the challenge because the, the, the tradition, if you will, that we have going is once you win the weekly challenge, you have to come up with a new theme for the next week's challenge. You know what I'm saying? So... It was his option to, to come up with one, but I didn't hear back from him, and I didn't want anybody to just be bored all week. So I had to think of a challenge, and I came up with the term or uh, theme diagonal. Um, take that and, and just run with that word. You can look it up on Webster's to see what it means, but we wanted to use that inside of your photo and use diagonal to try to enhance whatever story you may try to tell in your shot, you know, or, you know, basically make it based on a diagonal aspect or line. So hope everybody had some fun with that. We got about 13 different shots um, that were su submitted by the community. I'm going to do a screen share and we're going to go through and I should say pick on that's wrong we're going to go through and look at some of the shots that were submitted just highlight a few of them talk about what we like what we don't like any suggestions that we may have and um, provide constructive criticism and constructive criticism with our pinky up so all right let me hit uh, screen share here ba -ba -ba. all right oh can you confirm okay. seeing my screen gentlemen yeah, yeah I yeah. see it and all right in case yes, I forget, I won't be here in the hangout next uh, next Thursday because I'm going to be in, right because I'm going to be at NRG. We are season tickets. And you are excused, sir. <laughs> I'm going to be out party uh, tailgating and then going to the game. I, I approve said absence, sir. You you appreciate you doing that. Just be sure you send that to me in writing so I can put it in your file. <laughs> <laughs> up your nose with a rubber hose. <laughs> it's all good. All right, that so let's comment go ahead and will earn you another night of detention. Yeah. Rough. Let's see. Photos, all photos. First one I want to look at is this one here. Uh, this is a newer member from Anita W. Unfortunately, not much detail submitted about this shot other than it was taken with some type of Samsung device. I'm going to assume, based on this, uh, the dimensions here, it might have been like an S3. Because I think with the S4 and up, we're going to get at least 4,000 by, by like 2,000 there. 
usually on the shots that I've seen. But um, this is a diagonal shot of the horizon. Um, personally, I would like to see this as a interesting wallpaper for like a laptop or something like that. But it didn't really do much else for me um, from an artistic standpoint, if you will. Uh, I, I, I just don't don't necessarily care for this shot. Uh, it's a little hazy and noisy, but it's, yeah. it is what it is. What I would have done I differently like with it, I would have found something else to draw my attention from a diagonal standpoint. I wouldn't have made the horizon diagonal like that. Um, I get the I get the fact that people wanted to rotate their some of their shots, but it doesn't work for every shot, in my opinion. You know, but that's my two cents on it. What are your thoughts, King? It's interesting. Uh, it did get five votes, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it did. It did. Uh, it's interesting. Um, I would kind of wish it was a little bit, uh, a little bit brighter, but. And you're right. I on a retina screen, and I'm on a and I got a retina screen going, and it looks horrible. <laughs> Yeah, it's a There's little, a lot of noise. Yeah, it's a little noisy. A little noisy. Not a little, a lot. But again, like I said, I think this is from like an S3. Yeah. Oh yeah, well that 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 that's one thing. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's interesting. Mr. Sweeney, your thoughts? Are you able to see it? By the way. Oh yeah, yeah, I okay. see it. I just have you on mute for all the background noise out here. Oh no, no worries. Um, this is not one of Anita's better pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in my mind, yeah, it's angled, but that's about all you can say for it. Right. I mean, the colors are kind of interesting, but there's no story. There's nothing to really grab my attention. It's just like, you know, I look at it and go, yeah, okay, it's tilted. Right. Right. Looks like a drunken Irishman took it. <laughs> Again, to her credit, I could see this on like a 13-inch laptop desktop paper. Uh, desktop wallpaper. No, I can see that for some reason. But that's about it, you know. I couldn't even see that. <laughs> that's about it, though. Your thoughts, Mr. Kelly? Well, I think uh, that I, I have to be find myself in agreement with both of the mics. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I, yeah, yes, Sweeney is shocked. Um, the the simple <laughs> fact of the matter is is that some some things when you th that you normally see straight, when you kick them at an angle, it makes you think about them in a different way, and it makes you re-look re re at how you look at the world. Uh huh. However, a horizon, no matter where you are in the world, is always straight. Unless yeah. you're really, really drunk, or you're <laughs> tilting your camera. Uh -huh. And either way, the photo just looks odd when it's tilted like that. And I think w my interpretation of diagonal was something... When I, when I thought about the word, I went, I don't want to just take a picture that I would normally take horizontally and then I just want to tilt the camera 45 degrees. I don't okay. want to do that. I want to find something that looks more dramatic, more interesting, or is a somehow a diagonal pattern that I can photograph. Uh -huh. And that was going to be what I wanted to see. I didn't want to see somebody just take a normal f photo and just turn the camera and go click. And mm -hmm. no offense, Anita W., who's added me to her circles, so thank you for that. Um, <laughs> but th You'll this be is dumped, kind thanks. of what I thought. This is like the low-hanging fruit idea of what diagonal would be. A normal shot, turn the camera. And it, well, it doesn't do anything for me. And, I mean, the sunset in and of itself isn't too bad, but... Well, it's pretty colors. Eh, the colors aren't all that vibrant, not to my eye. Um, but, I, I don't know, I, I'm vibrant, kind of like... Vibrant, no, pretty, yes. Eh. No, I wouldn't, no, to me, if you're gonna, vibrant and pretty are, are the same thing on a sunset. If they're not vibrant, they're not, uh, they're not pretty enough, um, my opinion. Just, you know, me. Interesting. Um... But um, it, it just it doesn't do anything for me. Okay. It, well, with with that said, though, um, the fact that 
you don't necessarily feel this challenge should have been walk up to your subject, tilt your camera, shoot, or walk up to your subject, snap it, and then tilt it in an editor. Hopefully, you know, she'll be able to see some other examples from um, from the rest of the community in here tonight because well, not everybody did that. There well, are hang, other on, hang on just a second. No, I, uh, I think you misunderstood what I meant. I don't think she actually tilted this in an editor. I think no, she no, shot no, that's, it that's, this way. Yeah, that's what I said. I said oh, okay. All right. I said first, walk up to it, tilt it, and shoot. Or walk up to it, shoot, and then tilt it in an editor. Okay. Sorry, pay, no mistake. Dad, it. pay attention, man. I... <laughs> All right. So that was Miss Anita's. Let's move on to another one here. Um, there's definitely two that I want to touch on tonight before we get to the winning shot. But this one here, I saw it late. And it's from... Nicole H. I should probably blow this screen up. There we go. Doesn't that look better when I do that? Yes. Say yes. Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is Nicole no, H. And I believe man. she's in Galaxy S5. Yep. Galaxy S5. Uh, Snapseed used a healing feature to remove and replace the unwanted bokeh color in the upper right corner. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, Snapseed released a healing feature inside of their uh, mobile photography editor. Um, if you've ever seen the app Touch Retouch, it it's it basically allows you to go into the picture, and if there's something in it that you don't want in it, you can tap it or brush it with your finger, and the app will do some math to try to figure out, okay, what should this thing look like? Dang it. There are some serious network issues going on. Maybe there you should go. call someone for technical support. Jeez. But, yeah, it'll it'll basically do some math and try to figure out what's going on around that, that particular spot that you're um, trying to brush out and try to match it up with the rest of the image, you know, almost like just removing a spot. But you could do it on a... You can do it on a fairly large scale if you know how to zoom in and, and gradually brush here and there. You know, I found that to be fairly useful in some of my shots. But anyway, this is um with her uh, Galaxy S5 diagonal line, very very strong diagonal line from left to right all the way up. What I like about this shot, guys, is yeah, we got this nice center focus right here with great detail. Um. It could probably go a little bit darker with the contrast, but I like the fact that you could still see these lines, these diagonal lines just fade in the way, like little striations up here. I thought that was very, very cool the way she pulled that off. Um, only different, different step I would take on this is, again, to try to uh, crank the, the uh, contrast up just a little bit more because I like a darker, crisper um, black levels in these, as I've said a million times before. All right. Let's go with you, uh, Mr. Kelly. Your thoughts on this one? I, I don't know why, but I... I don't know. I, it, it, it just doesn't trip my trigger. I'm looking at it full screen over here on my other monitor, and I... I think what what loses me is the fact that it appears that everything that is even slightly out of focus just off of center of frame all the way into the background is artificially photoshopped. Okay. It it just it looks like everything from like I say if you put a if you put your mouse dead center on the image and then go to the right just a little bit as it's go to the right go to the right a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, a little bit to the left. As soon as it starts to fake, as soon as it starts to, f to lose focus, right about there, all of a sudden from that point off to the edge, what looked so dramatic when it was a thumbnail, when you mm -hmm. pull it up full screen, just it, it looks like it's been painted there. Too much process for you. A little too much process. This is one of those things where uh, somebody once said a movie is a willing suspension of disbelief. Um, or something like that, and the I feel the same way about photos. It should be a, you should be able to look at the photo and go, okay, I can understand how I could be somewhere and see this. 
this, again, it looks a little too artificial to me. Although I think it would make an excellent underground grunge dance party mix album cover. Yeah. And the thing is, that's just artistic preference is what you're discussing. Yeah. Uh, the know, other thing that, that I, I, I kind of do and don't like is the fact that it does have two extremely strong diagonals. Because each one of these links forms a diagonal from upper left to lower right, yep. and the whole pattern itself forms a diagonal from upper right to lower left. So I do like that, um, but I just wonder if I might have, instead of having this Photoshop thing up in the top right-hand corner, I, I might have just cropped it without it. But again, I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. King, your thoughts? I, have, I kind of have to agree with Joey that I think the uh, I like the idea that she used Photoshop to kind of do some spruce it up a little bit, but I think she went a little too much on the Photoshop. But it's not bad. It's just that I think the she could have done a little better job on that on the you know fading it out a little bit in the back because it's just a little overly processed. I think. Okay. I, okay, I can. I can dig what you guys are saying about it being not being as a natural transition here. Um, I, I still like it. Maybe it could have been backed off just a tad, but I still like it this way. But anything else, King? You know, I, as I said, it's a good shot. It's just it's just a little over processed. She could have the, she kind of cut it back just a little bit. And I think I've been uh, a lot better, but I, I like it. And I like you know the strong diagonals, and I can. And the, uh, the depth of it, so uh, it's a nice shot. Okay. Mr. Sweeney? Well, I disagree with Joey and King. Okay. On what points? Several. All <laughs> of them, <laughs> just to annoy me. <laughs> yes. I'm going out of my way. <laughs> Next, he's going to call me ignorant. In three. Oh man, two. what just went through my head you can't say on the show. Oh, <laughs> oh Mike, you ignorant. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you already, you already hear what he calls me because I'm so from the much South. Love. So much love in this community, I tell you. Good There's so much hatred. You yes. just feel the hatred no. just oozing out of the hangar. Nicole, I don't care what Mike says about you. I don't care what Joey says about you. They're wrong. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fine shot. Um, I love the texture and the yeah. repeating pattern. You know, repeating patterns in photography is a classic um, technique to really get some visual interest going on. And the way she's got the pattern and the way it's at the angle and the way it fades off into a blur really is a good hook. And the fact it's black and white... She got me, got me with black and white. That was the first thing that got me. Well, I'll disagree with you on the contrast, Ant. Okay. Um, I think she's got a nice balance of of the highs and she's got the darks going on in the background. But I think if you cranked it a little more, it might start going kind of muddy. But don't you think if she were to take the contrast a little more and bring out the clarity a little more, do you still well, have some of this now, detail now, see, here? Now you're going where I thought. I, I would like to see this picture with the, with the um, structure cranked. Okay. Because the structure... Would grab all the detail on the surface of those links and really amplify it. Okay, word. It wouldn't actually change the tonality, but it would certainly add some more texture to it. Mm -hmm. You know, so it. from a purely artistic perspective, I really like this. And what I really, really like is on the upper right corner quadrant, how it it all flows to that corner, and then it does this little bend. Yep. I love that. Yep. Well done. Well and done. It's, it's all in, in in harmony too. It's not. I know we talk about this quadrant being sort of faked because of the editor, but uh, see, yeah, I, I, I really disagree with that striations. too. You, know, you can't fake these striations. They're all perfect, nope. <laughs> perfectly lined up there. You know, in perfect yeah, angles. And actually, and I would like to hear from Nicole which filter she did use. I, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Actually, to be honest with you, I'd like to see the original, yeah. not because... because she's I, talking with Photoshop Express, high contrast, black-white filter, sharpen, adjusted clarity, reduced noise, de defogged, reduced... Mm -hmm. I don't see anything about adjusting focus. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's one of those things where, honestly, sometimes I think that half the reason why I don't like the way someone edited something was because I didn't see what they started with, and okay. I'm looking at it, and I go, nah, this looks like junk. But, you know, you and, and like the it, with, it looks awesome. I don't know. You know, if you don't like it, that's fine. I mean, seeing the before isn't going to really make a bit of difference. Mm. Art is art. You, know, you don't see all the pencil place. sketches of uh, Monet, you know, before he does his paintings. All right. Good point. Good point. All right, Nicole, that was a heck of a shot as usual coming from you. All right. Let us pick on... Um, which one was it? Oh, yeah, this one. All right. This was one of the first shots submitted to the challenge, and... I, I, I see what he was doing here myself. I don't know if you guys see it, but at least this is my interpretation of said shot by Mr. Mike Sweeney. Yeah, you saw it, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> this was from um, his iPhone 5S. All That's right. the problem. Oh, no, man. This, this, this works here. All right, we got the theme of diagonal. And front and center, we have a diagonal diagonal beam right there okay what I like about this though is if you follow that di- the diagonal you come up to the cement mixer that's you come right back, you come back down you got the wet cement yeah it's it, with it, another it, diagonal right, it all <laughs> ties in and and there's more back here and yeah, up and, at the same and who's at the top of the diagonal but the guy working the cement right and and I was like, okay, I see what he's doing here. That that's that's very very clever. Um, because I don't know about you guys, but here in freaking Charlotte, North Carolina, every road and stuff is always being worked on. So it's very common to see a cement mixer on the side <laughs> of the road and whatnot. <laughs> but to, so but, and for real, but to be able to see it, but to be able to see a cement mixer this time with the theme of diagonal, I was like, okay, this isn't just me seeing another daggum cement mixer. I, it, he, <laughs> he, he hit me in the brain there, and I, I appreciated that. Um, anything different I'd have done? Mm, I don't think any of this over here was necessary, but it's all good. I all wanted good. to keep that diagonal in the lower left, though. This one here? Yeah. Okay. Right there. I dig that. <laughs> okay, your thoughts, Mr. King? Rip away. Well, uh, there's the name... You can't get there from here. Ring any bells? Because <laughs> every road's on construction here, especially yeah. on 290. You can't. You can't get from anywhere from on 290. <laughs> and I'm so, so sick and tired of seeing cement mixers. I'm ready to blow one up. Right. See. So, so but, yeah, you you know how I feel then. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Really how did you just say cement? Hey, the MythBusters already tried to blow See? one up. <laughs> Didn't work well. Oh no, it worked quite well. I wish I could have. I wish I could do one around here. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, had I'm, to clear five miles of highway to do it. Well, yeah, I mean they used a charge that was a little extreme. Yeah, but it was also <laughs> the only thing they could use to get rid of all the cement that had solidified in it. And they did it twice. It did That's do that. Insane. Insane. But no, I'm I'm quite impressed with. For a change, I actually like something of Sweeney's. For once, Ooh. it happens. I don't think it, I don't think it needed. Write that down. I don't think it needed is a dog walking in the middle of that cement <laughs> and getting paw prints all through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would that would have made their day for sure. That what are happens, your thoughts? I see it all the time. What are your thoughts, Mr. Kelly? Uh, well, first of all, I think it is a very concrete shot. <laughs> uh, and there's the rim shot. <laughs> Yes, Good. I have been waiting for about five minutes to okay, use where that. Okay, where is it? Where <laughs> Good night, Justine. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Um, <sighs> it flat like wet cement. <laughs> Somebody want to keep that sound effect ready. Um, <laughs> in all honesty, until it was pointed out to me, I, I missed a lot of the additional diagonals. Uh-huh. Um, and, but... but what so I, that is sophistication going right over your head. Mm, <laughs> mm. Oh, ignorant, yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
God. I'm going to hell. Anyway, uh, yeah. um. uh, well, well, welcome you aboard. Yeah. <laughs> Save me a seat on the crate on the bus. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, one of my engineers. Oh, never mind. I can't say that story on because it involves cursing. Anyway, um. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, like I say, I missed some of the additional diagonals. Uh, but this, the thing that I really love about this is that this is the personification of what I was saying. Don't just take an ordinary scene, walk up to it, and tilt your camera. This mm -hmm. is a straight angled picture that is showing an object or multiple objects that are on a diagonal that's calling attention to the diagonal. Z mm -hmm. in this case, and I like it because of that. Um, yep. I, like I say, I missed some of the additional diagonals till I blew it up full screen, really looked at it, and was looking at your analysis, Ant, so that's my bad. I think if I had noticed that sooner, I would have probably liked it even more. Um, yeah. But what I do like is that, like so many of the great photographers that I have seen, it is a moment in American life that's contemporary or just in life, it doesn't have to be American life. It's it's a moment in contemporary life that in 40, 50 years will look entirely different. You know, mm. so that sort of thing. 40, 50 years ago, the cement mixers looked completely different. 40, uh -huh. 50 years from now, the cement mixers are going to look completely different. Yeah, How, you know, wood either. You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we probably wouldn't be using wood, like you said. That that's that's a good point, Joey. You, you know, I mean, this is just one of those things that it it's it's both artistic and historical all in one, and I I applaud. So, Indeed. so Joey, you, you bring up an interesting point, and and Aunt, this actually went through my head when I put up this picture. Mm -hmm. My concern was the picture. While I felt I felt it met the requirements of the challenge. I really, really felt when I stuck it up, it was going to be too cerebral for <laughs> a lot of people. I have called you out on that a couple of times. Yeah, you absolutely. Yeah. Well, like I say, I think I, I, if I'd blown it up bigger and looked at it before the before the show without looking at just the thumbnail, I would have caught more of it. So, um, so here's the tip for Joey. Number one, whenever you're processing your photos, make sure your screen is on full brightness. Number two, <laughs> when you're looking at photos, blow them up. Blow them up. <laughs> Boom. Bring them up full screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, but no, I, I really do like it, uh, Sweeney. I really do. Um, it, and, and I think it's another one, as you say, it's got layers, literally, to it. You've got the foreground, you've got the background, and then there's multiple points within the background that you can hit. And every, and there's multiple diagonals. I mean, you've got this, uh, looks like a level or something on the left-hand side of the frame. You've got the second forming tim uh, two by four, or uh, whatever it is, not a two by four, but something larger than that. It's, it's a wood. piece of wood. You know, and, yeah, it's and wood. I mean, you've got, it, it, it just, it's one of those ones that if you were to put that on the wall in an art gallery, people would stand there and stare at it, and the more they looked at it, the more they would see. The more things would come together, exactly. Yeah. and that is a pleasure to see that in a digital world that is largely focused on what do I see immediately now, and if I don't see it, mm -hmm. it's crap. I totally agree, Joey, because that's, that's exactly what happened with me. I, I pulled it up, and I was like, wait a minute. Oh, okay. And nice. I, 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 the other thing I like about it is that it was a shot that involved a lot of timing, um, because quite frankly, if he'd waited a little, it would have gotten even harder. <laughs> Rim shot. <laughs> there yeah. it is. <laughs> well, again, I stand by it. I, I was worried it was too cerebral. <laughs> and, well, and, and honestly, everyone's gotten really used to smartphone pictures being just heavily filtered in your face, you know, here's somebody's nose or, you know, here's the dog or here's my plate of food. Mm. You know, it, it's, it's hard to find complicated work taken with a smartphone. And I think that that's because of multiple things. I think it's because there's a perception out there that all smartphone photos must inherently be inferior um, and that you must not be a serious photographer if you're using a smartphone. Mm. Um, mm. Oh. Or it's not a picture yeah. unless you got an Instagram filter on it. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, one thing I wish we were going to start seeing a lot more of 
are the live live photos. Those are cool. Yeah, but they're also a gimmick. Not really. I, I put that in, in. I don't want to get into this too much, but I put that in the same category as as the auto awesomes. You know, it's it's cool to see it when it happens there for that first, you know, minute it pops up, and then I don't know about you, but I immediately forget about it after I hit close, gone. You know, animated gifs or animated gifs, depending on which side of the freaking camp you're on. The fact, the live photos that I'm talking about. The camera, as you get right before you shoot it. Takes, oh no, I know what you're talking about. The iOS 9 fe- uh, feature. No, it's only on it's only on the iPhone. Uh, it's one of the um, 3D touch stuff. And uh, Sweeney had to leave. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it's one of the 3D touch things that you just have to remember before you uh, put the camera down or the phone down. You it's still shooting. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, I get what 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 they're doing far as the um, it's similar to what Joy was talking about. Hey, mm-hmm. check this out! Check out what just happened. Well, you here's know? the one situation that, that that I really think that that live photo is is cool or is useful. Let me rephrase that because cool and useful are often two two very different things. Amen. And the useful would be that if you were photographing something that was moving or something that you were not expecting and you happen to get a frame before or a frame after, um, thinking things like car accidents where you, you're, you're photographing something, a dog on the sidewalk, mm-hmm. and in behind you there's a, there's a car accident happening. And it, one of your frames from the live video happens to have the car accident in progress. Okay, that's you know that's about the only thing I can think of. Besides or, that, I mean it, it it it's gimmicky. It's like putting the Polaroid photo a folder photo uh, filter frame. over an, over a picture. It's don't forget it's it something. does have audio in it too. So if you're so, taking pictures, okay, of your kid, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then it happens, what's the difference between that and a very short video clip? Right. Basically, that's it's two. It's what it is. It is a MOV. With well, then a, why don't uh, they just call it a freaking video? <laughs> it's an MOV with in a in a packet with a JPEG. Okay, so great, folks. Here's what we have. This is a revolutionary mm. new technology. It's called the thumbnail from a freaking video. We've never seen that before. It's been only been around since 1997. And again, it's it, like I said. It's I think it's something that it's it's cool to have, but it's it's right. more for that instant gratification kind of thing. It's for the, well, not right. even instant gratification. It's for the short attention span of the world, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and, and everybody does that type of thing. Everybody has some type of gimmick like that. Samsung yeah, right. has something like that. Google has something like yeah. that. Everybody's doing it just for the the, the moment of, ooh, check what out, check out what just happened here, because the second you close that thing, it's an afterthought. Yeah. One of the only one bad things about it is, only ones that can get to see it right now are people on a on a uh, iOS right or on a desktop computer right right and, so that's and, so again you're limiting your market too and yeah. and I I feel as someone who has shot stills and as someone who has shot actually a fair amount of video in my time on varying pieces of equipment including smartphones um there there are things that work with video that don't work with stills and there are things that work with stills that don't work with video because they're two very different mediums I agree Mm -hmm. and for instance with video you can get in dumb stupid close to something and you can still make the video look good because it's moving and people forgive you for having possibly bad framing. If you yeah. do bad framing on a still, there's no recovering from it. Yeah. And by that having been said, also, backlight, for instance, on video, you can usually get away with it. Sometimes you can get away with it on a still, sometimes you can't. depends upon the still and the situation and how good your post-processing may be. 
but it, it's just it's two different things. And this feels to me like an artificial Apple thing that is forcing you to do both at once. And it just doesn't strike me as something that's going to catch on. And I was talking to somebody that said that they've tried this before and it bombed. And I, I just don't see it catching on. If for no other reason than now, when you try to email something to somebody, it's now a freaking movie file that's five times bigger than the yeah. still was. Hmm. And you're using up more storage. You're using up more processing power. And I, I just don't see, I, I just don't see the need for it. Yeah. This is a gimmick. I, we can, I we can leave it at that. Exactly. I know you have to, to force to, uh, what, what do you call it? You, gotta, you had to pop it. For it to work on it, in other words, you know, for it to, uh, if you look at it, it's just a JPEG. You have to actually force touch or use, I think they call it, peak or pop. Yeah, you give it a different to, command to to activate the features, right. and, and that's that's again, that's fine. Anyway, we we're going to move on. That's that's yeah. that's just another. It's a gimmick that every company has to try to lure consumers in for that quick moment and get that sale. That's business, you know. All right, let's move on. I'm going to share my screen again. Uh, let's see here. You know, the Wait. irony of that earlier comment I made about don't just take the camera, turn it, and call it a diagonal, that's exactly what was done with that one picture I posted of myself. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm not you know, gonna, you didn't, I didn't vote for it either. <laughs> I'm not going to point that one out. I'm going to hit one more, and then we're going to hit the winner here. This one, because it, it says pretty much what you said, Joey. Mm -hmm. uh, this one comes from Andy Dean. Andy Dean. What did he shoot this with? Da, 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 My Fi uh, 4? That's a Xiaomi. Oh, that's one of the uh, mm -hmm. Huawei. Is no, one no, of the no, that's, no, it's a Xiaomi. <laughs> it's a Xiaomi Mi 4. Oh, Mi 4. Oh, that's, that's yeah. one of the brand new ones. Yeah, Xiaomi has got some nice ones. Um, of course, he's over in Europe somewhere. That's why we don't have that here. Um, and Huawei. Yeah. Well, now we will have Huawei now. But, yeah, anyway, he used a Xiaomi phone, and camera quality seems to look pretty pretty solid. Uh, let's see. He says he just liked the water droplets along the back of the seat, took it diagonally to keep the eye focused on the bar. All right. My thoughts on this shot. Um, I like the idea that he did to tilt it because it does give us that whole diagonal effect because of the perspective that it's in. Um, it's not a strong diagonal, but it's it's a diagonal line going from uh -huh. here to here, going from the side to the center. Um, but I like the idea that he tilted it that way just because he wanted more focus right here. Yeah. Um, because and that works. And, yeah. and it works for that because it took me a second to look back and see all of this going on back here. Mm -hmm. But with that said, I had to say, well, why not just crop that crap out? So let's see what happens here. Why not just do that? No, oh, and no. you no. know what I, what I would do with the cropping, honestly? Mm -hmm. Come in from the right-hand side and crop it off so that the the diagonal does go across the whole frame. So like right here. Right down. there and drop it straight down. Okay. Oh, that ain't wow. bad either. Now like that would have been pretty good. Something like that? Yeah, and I might even come in from the bottom. I like, the, I like the extra depth here. But then again, if it was a crop there, whoops. Whoopsie. How many windows can Ant Pruitt open? Watch this. The crop one photo. Like a freaking pro. Holy crap, dude. Clean out some room on your C drive. That ain't going to happen. Uh. <laughs> well, I, I did move some stuff. I forgot all that A, B, C, D, F, G drives. I forgot all that. <clears throat> All that nonsense. Like that. How's God. that? Now, I'll tell you, the one reason, even though he's not here, I will speak for him. The one thing that Sweeney is going to say about that is, thank God for a square crop. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually think that this, you Could've can still better. tell it's a diagonal. Mm -hmm. But because you you just can't. You can look and you can see that it's, that it's at an angle. Mm -hmm. But 
I think that that works better than the entire thing uncropped. Am I, I wrong? Do. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I agree with you, Joey. Like I said, when I first looked at the shot, I was like, man, I like what he did here with tilting it just because he wanted to show this off. And then I was like, well, damn, if he's just showing all of that off right here, get rid of all the rest of the clutter stuff. You know, That was yeah, just my right. thought. And you tell it's still diagonal, and it's I like I I, I, um, I like the way it looks that way. It mm -hmm. it makes it, it was a good shot to begin. I liked it to begin yep. with, but it just made it better. Yep. Yep. I think that either either way, it, it it's a very powerful use of the diagonal for for artistic effect. But I think that this is one that benefits from a little more cropping, not a little less. All right. Indeed. All right. Well, Andy, again, good shot, and um, try it out with that with that cropping that we suggested. You know. So let's and, go ahead and uh, take. Oh, the and just to throw another tip, again, not to speak for Sweeney, even though he's left, but um, that structure filter in Snapseed yeah. mm -hmm. would cause the raindrops right to have more definition. Oh yeah, that would it would have popped more. Yeah, and that might, just might, make it look better. I would play with it. I yeah. wouldn't it's necessarily, an you know, but yeah, that's it's a thought. Sweet. All so right. even though he's not here, he's here in spirit. It's amazing. The Sweeney can do anything. <laughs> he's got powers. Yeah. All right, so let's look at our winning shot here before we get out of here. And it looks like Top Vote Getter has nine votes. Am I right or am I wrong? Yes. Yep. yep. Okay. Right. Okay. And I'm going to give it one more vote. That was a hell of a shot. Um, as I have a shot <laughs> very similar to this in my own gallery. <laughs> so it hit me It hit me in the heart a little bit. But Mr. Tim McCusker, which phone yeah. does he have this week? LG he has G4. LG G4. Okay. Using his beloved Photoshop Express for clarity, defog, and exposure. All right. Um, anything I would have done differently on this shot? Yes. I don't think he needs this upper piece of the uh, of the photo. I think that could go away, and he would still have a strong diagonal line there. All right. But what I like about this shot, number one, the focus on it, um, and the focus being on the dead key. Uh, point and center, front and center. And there is another dead key here, but seeing, uh, what is that, G? I don't play a no, piano. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I don't play the G, I piano. Don't know. I don't play the <laughs> piano enough to understand, to know what the keys are. All right. That's the only thing I can do is B flat on the, on the, on the uh, <laughs> Corningware jug. Uh. It's yeah. an A. I'm sorry. It's an A. My bad. But anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. Yeah, you need to see sharp or he'll be flat. But I like <laughs> rim shot yourself, sir. But what I what I like about this one again is that whole dead the dead key right there in the center of it, just to give it a little bit of character, if you will. Uh, the overall focus could be a a tad bit sharper, but again, just just. My biggest complaint would be to crop out the top a little bit more. I think that's unnecessary real estate because losing that, you still know that this is a piano keyboard, period. You know what I'm saying? But that's my thoughts on Mr. Tim McCusker's photo. Mr. Kelly, let me hear it. I will keep this short and sweet. The only two comments that I have about the shot. I don't actually mind the cropping suggestion, Ant. I could go either way on that because that's an artistic choice. Uh -huh. But the two things that I would say is that I do not care for how soft it is. Yeah. Uh, even though I, I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to put a softness so you're only looking at the one dead key and the, uh, the comparable one just behind it. I, I just don't like it. I think I would like it a lot better if more of it were in focus. Yep, a little sharper. Yeah, that's just my opinion. The other thing that I, I don't like you. is that this is, to me, just to me, a cliche of a shot in that, <clears throat> and this is not anything against the way Tim has shot this, but I have seen this or a yeah. very similar angle 
on electric keyboards, pianos, yeah. organs, uh, album covers, stock photos. Yep. It seems, you know, book covers. I mean, it seems like any time somebody wants to talk about a piano, an organ, anything with keys like this, they find somebody to take a shot like this. That and that cool. doesn't necessarily make it bad, yeah. but there's a reason why iStock Photo will not take pictures of flowers anymore. Right. It's because every single freaking flower has possibly been photographed on the freaking planet, and they are saturated with them, and they don't have a market for them. So that's kind of the way I feel about this, is that it's been done, it's been done, it's been done, it's been done. It's a nice shot. Wish it was sharper, but I just kind of... Show me something different. Show me something I haven't seen before. Show me concrete in the ground with a 2 by 4 at an angle. I feel you. <clears throat> Mr. King. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm muted. I've been coughing quite bad. Um, I wish it was a little sharper. It's a nice shot, but, you know, I have seen so many pianos around like that in these shots. I kind of wish it was a pipe organ. Then I'd be more interested cause there's not, <laughs> because there's not as many pictures of people, uh, keyboards of a uh, one like the romantic type uh, pipe organs, the mm -hmm. four or five levels. Mm -hmm. Particularly it, appropriate as we're headed into Halloween. Tell it, brother. Tell it. Because I am, believe it or not, one of my favorite music is from Johann Sebastian Bach and his pipe organ music. I could listen to that for hours. Awesome. And, and But I said if it was something like that, but you know, Joey's right. There's just so many piano, depending on how, you know, but old, new, Pianos that have been blown up, pianos that have been shot up, uh, but th there's nothing new. But I said uh, it does show the diagonals. I wish it was a little sharper. Uh, the colors are pop, pop you know, punched up okay. It's just that I've, I voted for it because it was it was one of the better shots out there. But I've just seen so many of them. Word. All right. Well. Even though you guys have the same opinion on that, and, and, and I agree, I give Tim his credit. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he shot something. Mm -hmm. You know? He shot something. Oh, yeah, yeah n none I of didn't. that. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> none of that is to discourage the shot. Oh, yeah. it, it is nicely done. It's, it, it, I'm not critiquing the, you know, the, 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 it was an excellent shot showing a diagonal. Yep. Not complaining at all. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, I took one that wasn't even. I didn't even. It was my phone, but somebody else took the picture, so yeah. I can't even really compete. Yeah, it's true technicality. But no, no, for real, Tim. That's 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 a good shot, and congratulations to you again. <laughs> you uh, you won the challenge this week, my man, with uh, ten votes now. So, as you already know. You are tasked with giving the community a new challenge for the coming week. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with, and uh, I'm looking forward to the participation from the community, especially the folks here on the East Coast, because a lot of the shots don't get kicked off until Saturday, Sunday, you know, the weekend when people are somewhat less busy. And um, but over the, over here on the East Coast, we're expecting a lot of craptastic weather and it's going to be a little hard for some folks to get outside with their smartphone and, <laughs> and take some good shots, you know. Been so, there, done so, it. So let's see, let's see what what happens this weekend. I'm 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 curious to see this. And, All right, and yeah, been there, done it. Got the yeah, T-shirt, and we're still recovering. I was going to show you off one of my about pictures. every other month down there, man. Well, no hurricanes. Uh, every four or five years, so we're it's getting close to where we're gonna have probably have another one. I was gonna show off some of the pictures, you know. As I said, I've been uh, seeing what kind of improvements in the software in iOS 9 has done for the cat, just the uh, the camera uh, app. And well, what, are, what are your findings on this? What is your what are your findings for? Okay, a few things. Number one. The, the the interface on it is it just the standard interface is there anything that's better there's some, from the there's previous a little change, there's some versions? Change. Yeah, if you can see my screen okay 
Um, it's uh, there's some changes you have. You have still have some more uh, manual settings that you can use. I think the processing is a lot better. The pictures are a lot, a little bit sharper. Okay. Than, uh, and um, if you've seen some of the comparisons of the, uh, say the six plus and the six S plus, they are not. If they're if running iOS nine. There is not much difference in some of the stu things that they show. Okay. I just I'm just finding that the pictures are of, of better quality. The okay. this is one of them. As I said, I just uh, I came home. I decided let me take something, and I just went out, put put my ca camera on the uh, deck, on the uh, fence, and just aimed it at the courtyard. And just uh, snapped a picture real quick just to see what it looked like. And I, there's no processing in this. I had not touched anything with the process. Mm -hmm. This is as it came out of the camera. You know, know, with that said, um, I want to see some more real-world uh, use from the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus when our community members get their hands on it. Um, it's one thing to see it from The Verge or... or or genius report or what have you, but the folks in our community they have a different passion about it. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? There's a different passion about it when you guys go out and shoot, and you're going to be able to, to, I guess you can say, confirm stuff like the 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 color on these oh, things. Yeah. The color. I've as I said, I've seen some of the pictures. Now, I won't be able to get it because I'm still under a contract. Yeah. And the time I get ready to get it. It'd be time for the uh, to the, for the seven, <laughs> right? So I'm on the I'm on the what they call the you know Apple calls their TikTok. TikToks, yeah. And I'm on gonna be on the tick where the yeah. uh, where they make the big change. That's when yeah. they're supposed to change everything on it. They're gonna redesign everything. Still yeah. keep the same big size, but uh, I just I, I just don't um to get out of it to get what I want. It's almost twice as much as what it's worth. Mm -hmm. And I just don't have a thousand dollars to get a ca uh, phone. Yeah, I, I I don't see the sense in that myself either. But hey, to each his own. For the people that are going out buying these things outright like that, have at it, bro. Aunt Pruitt well, not doing it. <laughs> I I I wait I wait till um, it's I know the uh, they're they're doing things differently because the subs the subsidized contracts are going away yeah. slowly but surely and. I know they're doing well, like this one. I'm doing to keep it down. I'm doing payment. I did the payments. I'm paying it off where it should be paid off in yep. May, June. Right. And now I can take it in there, and it, I want to keep the thing because I like to use it as a iPod after I get my new one. Right. Pretty I still standard. have my I have my iPhone five, five, not the five S, just the five. I can use it to take pictures, and I use it as a uh, iPod. And I just don't want to turn this one in to get the get the new one. Right. Just keep it. Right. What, so, you, what you got there, Joey? Oh, this is that shot that I uh, I put up in the community under the general section. Oh um, yeah. And I I'm not going I'm not going to I'm not putting this up to toot my own horn necessarily, but I ain't I I think that this is a shot that by the way I took with the Nexus Six and. Mm -hmm. Aside from everything was edited on the phone in Snapseed, cropped, black and white conversion, um, and uh, contrast tweaking, basically, a little bit of brightness, too. Uh, this shot is, again, not trying to toot my own horn, but this is the personification of the dispelling of not being able to take a serious photo with a smartphone. I agree. You know, oh, yeah. it, it is dramatic in its own way. It is artistic in its own way. And this is one of those shots that if you look and at it... And of high quality. You oh, know, it's, it's yeah. a high quality file. Correct. And, yeah. it, and I can blow this up. I can have this printed um, yep. at probably insane sizes. And it would not surprise me at all to see something like this hanging in an art gallery somewhere. 
Right. And, you know, people would go, oh, that's so wonderful, and I see what you've done there, and it really brings <laughs> out the, 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 the taste in the, in the struggle of man, you know. Mm -hmm. um, well, like you're talking about um, these, what these cameras can do. I finally got rid of my point-and-shoot. Yes, it, had, it was a Canon that shot raw, but I don't use a point-and-shoot. Uh, point my point-and-shoot is my smartphone. When yes, I want right. to take when I want to actually take serious pictures, I'll pull out the SLR. But if yep. it's something I want to get a picture of, and it's a, uh, I don't I, something that I can just take a picture of and say, "Wow, there it is," or I'll just come up on something and say, "Oh, wow, look at that!" Click. The last yep. two times, I, I have got a variety of point and shoots around here for that I've picked up over the years for various reasons. Um, and I actually picked up a the last one I bought new was a Canon. PowerShot A590IS, which is a is and was a very good image stabilized uh, Canon point and shoot, and it, it's a great camera. I I would hand it to anyone and let them go take pictures with it, and it's it's decent. That having been said, it's been largely supplanted by the smartphone, and the whole mm -hmm. reason why I bought it was that I wanted to have a camera I could throw in the pocket of my jacket and walk around with. Well, guess what? What do you think I do with my smartphone all day? It's uh -huh. in my pocket, and I'm walking around with it. So I literally do not have a use case for this thing anymore. But I will tell you the one thing. The, the last two times that I used it were January 1st of this year. I shot some video with it because the I wanted to shoot video of me taking pictures with the SLR. So I needed something that fit on a tripod, mm -hmm. and I needed something that had decent audio that I didn't think my Motorola Moto G had at the time. So I used this. Um, plus, I already had a tripod mount for it, uh -huh. you know, and it was just a really easy setup. Um, the other time that I used it, uh, ironically, one of the things you can do with a hacked aftermarket firmware for the Canon A590IS, you can turn it into an automatic time-lapse recorder. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, and I had no idea. Even though I, there is I, an app for that. Well, yeah. <laughs> there probably is an app for that. But yeah. uh, the thing was is that I had to leave this device in a location taking the same shot for eight hours. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was not prepared to leave my smartphone sitting someplace for eight hours. <laughs> so. Right. Um, the way this works is that you load the firmware onto the card, you put the card into the machine, it over or into the camera, and it overrides the stock programming. And for whatever number of seconds that you've set in a batch file, it will take the picture mm -hmm. recurring. And what I wound up doing was creating a time lapse video for a lady uh, that uh, it was a commercial project. She uses uh, she uh, organizes and moves people into housing. And she wanted literally before pictures and then eight hours of time lapse showing her and her crew bringing boxes in and setting them up and da -da -da -da, and then a series of after pictures. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It worked extremely well for that. But again, limited use thing. Yeah. Unless you're a kid or you have a specific purpose, these yeah. days point and shoots are just right. not needed. Yeah. No need and nowadays with the nowadays with uh these the smartphone camera is getting better and better. Yeah. Now the now the lowest ones twelve megapixels and most of them are twelve up to yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, like a standard now. Right. Um, so well, that's for a newer one. For a budget one, you can still get four sixes and eights. Right. Uh, oh really? Eights very, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, the Moto G is only. I thought the G was at least ten. No, nah, the second gen Moto Eight uh, Moto G. Um, I think it's I think it's eight. Interesting. That could be wrong. Interesting. Um, but, but, but I mean, the, the Nexus is is a strong thirteen. Yeah. Um, and I mean, to put it in context, I think only my newest digital SLR is a fourteen. Everything I've got prior to that is less than my smartphone. Yeah. True. All right. Well, that's it. That was a good discussion uh, there, Mr. Kelly. Appreciate you bringing that up. Um, because again, that shot. You, you ain't got to toot your own horn. I, I, can, I can give you your props on that. It was a good shot, and it does just continue to show the community members and the rest of the world that you can get some 
pretty damn good shots Mm -hmm. from your smartphone. Just takes a little bit of patience, takes a little bit of practice, and uh, you can pull these things out. You know, knowing what to shoot, knowing how to shoot it. Sometimes it's not about just standing straight on something and hitting the shutter. It's not about that. Sometimes you have to shoot from above. Sometimes you have to shoot from below. Where's your lighting set up at? You know, if you're outside, like, where's the sun? You know, do I want to shoot from Uh this side where this is lit up a little more? And all kinds of little stuff. All these little tips and tricks we discuss every single week in the community. But, um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get up out of here. It's been a really, really good discussion and, and chat with you guys as usual. I'm going to allow you to sign off and let everyone know where we can find your work. So let's start with my man in Tejas, Mr. King. I can be found anywhere at Michael King 4023 or just Michael King. And um, I can be, as I said, next weekend I won't be in here because at this time, I will be sitting on the 50-yard line of NRG Stadium watching the Texans hopefully win a game. All right, so I will be looking for your time off request here soon, sir. And you be looking for some, I'm gonna make sure I have my uh, cat my phone with me, and I you'll probably get some see some pictures from uh, of the game. All right, I take I, I do take some and I do put them up at times. Sounds good. Good good seeing you again, Mr. King. Thank you for okay. uh, joining us tonight. All right, next up, Mr. Joey Kelly, where do we find you and your work? Because I know you take a lot of good shots. Where do we find them? Where do, how do people get in touch with you? The easiest way to, or place to start is Joey, J-O-E-Y, Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y dot com. From there, you're going to find links to my computer repair business, my photography business, uh, my YouTube channel, uh, my Facebook, my Google+, Plus, my Twitter, yak, 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 yak. And you even get to see a big, whole-on professional headshot of me, known to scare small children and women. I was say, is that a good thing? No. No. <laughs> to call oh. one of my friends, oh, that's a whole lot of Joey in my monitor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to just, just move away I think from we're that. Right there. Yeah. All right, Joey, Mr. Kelly, it's, it's, it's good to see you as always, bro. appreciate you hanging out. Glad with to us. be back after a hiatus. Yes, definitely. All right, lastly, myself. My name is Ant Pruitt. Find me here on the wonderful world of Google+. Yes, the wonderful world of Google+, under Ant Pruitt. You can also find me on Twitter with the handle Ant underscore Pruitt. I'll put that handle somewhere like right there. You'll see it later on in post. But, um... Again, thank you folks for watching these these hangouts and, and checking out our page. Our page is smartphone-photographers.com. It'll be like right about there. And uh, go there and look at all the different articles that we have and all of the reruns that we have from the particular hangout that we do each Thursday. We usually start about 9 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday nights. Um, Sometimes it's a little bit later depending on technical difficulties and if I'm running late and stuff like that. Because, yes, sometimes I do run late. I'm sorry. And I try to have these things processed and edited up so they look a little bit better for the, for the reruns. Um, when you watch them on the live stream, the photos that we share from our members, they – they're not always in focus. Sometimes they're too small, and that's all because of how Google and YouTube is handling it, handling the compression and whatnot. So I like to try to just repurpose the video and put it through my own editing process to make the shots bigger and, and make it look a little bit better. And sometimes I even try to fix the audio because right now in my ears, my audio sounds great, <laughs> but I guarantee you it's going to sound like a little 12-year-old boy. Um, after I try to go through my editing. But yeah, check that out. I'll have that processed. Ooh. Normally I have that processed by Saturday morning, but not this week. We have um, mm, Clemson's playing Notre Dame, and that's at 8 o'clock kickoff. So I have a very long day of, uh, of, of tailgating and football, not to mention Sunday Excuses. That morning, then I'm going to have Excuses. to recover Excuses. from a long day of tailgating and football. You people so. and your football. 
Hey, Joe, you know football is a religion down here in the South, man. Come on. No, Joe. <laughs> but no, anyway, just <laughs> check out smartphone-photographers.com and check out youtube.com slash Aunt Pruitt to see my channel where all of these videos mm -hmm. are and other little snippet videos that give you tips and tricks on how to get some really, really nice photos from your smartphone. We, we do a really, really good job of finding tips and tricks and different little apps that you can use. All right? Sorry for slamming my camera like that. We will catch you guys next time, Thursday about 9 p.m. Eastern time. And um, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell an enemy. And uh, holler at me if you're interested in joining the community. We'd love to see you. Until then, peace out. Catch you later. Welcome horns. Uh, no. Go Tigers. Go Patriots. Beat Notre like Dame. It.